लेट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट सो यू कैन सी द आर एच एस इज कोसिक एक्स सो दिस इज अ नॉर्मल फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स नॉट वट वी हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर लाइक ई पावर एक्सपोनशियल और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कॉस और साइन सो वी विल हैव टू यूज द जनरल फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल बट let's first find the complementary function for that convert uh, it like this d2 plus 1 to y equals to cosec x now for finding auxiliary equation replace this d by m so you will get m square plus 1 equals to 0 m square equals to minus 1 you will get m equals to plus minus iota so you can write m1 as 0 plus iota and m2 as 0 minus iota therefore we can easily write our complementary function as a plus iota b a minus iota b so e power ax so a is 0 c1 cos bx so b here is 1 plus c2 sin bx again b is 1 can rewrite our complementary function as c1 cos x plus c2 sin x now for particular integral let's just recap the rule uh, if uh, our uh, equation was like this f of d into y equals to q so particular integral we used to find 1 upon f of d operating on q now we need to make it into linear factors then this will operate on q and finally we'll write the particular integral in this case as e power alpha x integral e power minus alpha x q dx so whatever sign is there retain here and opposite sign is outside with e power so let's use that here particular integral is 1 upon d square plus 1 operating on cosec x so i can write this as 1 upon d plus iota to d minus iota operating on cosec x because this will give me d square minus iota square and iota square is minus 1 so ultimately i will get this only and numerator i can write d plus iota minus of d minus iota divided by the same denominator now extra 2 iota term is coming so i am dividing by 2 iota this is operating on cosec x so if i divide carefully i will get 1 upon 2 iota odd side 1 upon d minus iota will be operating on cosec x minus 1 upon d plus iota operating on cosec x now this we can rewrite by this so 1 upon 2 iota uh this we can write as e power iota x integral e power minus iota x same sign here opposite sign here operating on cosec x minus everything will become opposite from this in, uh, integral so e power minus iota x e power iota x cosec x dx <clears throat> let this integral be i1 this be i2 so i1 is integral e power minus iota x into cosec x so e power minus iota x can be written as cos x minus iota sin x divided by sin x because cosec x is 1 by sin x so i will get cot x minus iota and if we integrate cortex will get log sin x if we integrate minus iota we will get minus iota times x similarly for i2 uh, which is integral e power iota x into cosec x dx we can write this as cos x plus iota sin x divided by sin x so this is integral of cot x plus iota 
so you will get log sin x plus iota x if i were to write my particular integral again i will get 1 upon 2 iota e power iota x into i1 was there and i1 came out to be log sin x minus iota x and then i had a minus sign e power minus iota x into i2 which came out to be log sin x plus iota x now simplifying the terms e power iota x into log sin x minus e power minus iota x into log sin x okay now uh, here uh, e minus e power iota x into uh, iota x and here minus of e power minus iota x into iota x okay from this term you are getting e power iota x into okay fine now uh, this is uh, 1 upon 2 iota these two terms i can take log sin x as common i will get e power iota x minus e power minus iota x inside and from here uh, if i take minus of iota x common i will get e power iota x plus e power minus iota x inside okay and this comes inside a bracket now two formulas you remember e power iota theta plus e power minus iota theta divided by 2 was your cos theta and e power iota theta minus e power minus iota theta divided by 2 iota was your sin theta now applying the same formula this we can divide by 2 iota and multiplied by 2 iota and this we can multiply and divide by 2 so i will get 1 upon 2 iota 2 iota log sin x now this will be sin theta and here we have x so sin x minus 2 iota x times this uh, can be rewritten as cos x okay if we take it inside i will get log sin x times sin x and minus iota uh, 2 iota will get cancelled so minus x times cos x so this is uh, my particular integral which is uh, sin x times log sin x and minus of x cos x my final solution always is cf plus pi cf i got out to be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and pi I have got recently as sin x into log of sin x minus of x cos x. So this is my final answer. I hope you understood this problem because this was a rule which you use. Complementary function you are uh, very much uh, familiar with. And then the particular integral. Just a bit uh, idea of complex number was used which make this question a bit lengthy.